Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop that heat, this video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video is sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we all from, now the rumors is flying around, Keith Thurman versus Adrian the Problem Broner. Adrian Broner has some choice words for Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman kind of downed the rumors a little bit and was just like, Adrian Broner needs to earn a shot at Keith One Time Thurman. And <laughs> that's that's classic Keith One Time Thurman in terms of the comment. But in terms of the rumor, would there be any interest in this fight? In terms of name recognition, absolutely. Absolutely. Keith Thurman versus Adrian the Problem Broner, like, that's a good fight. That's a good fight. Adrian Broner has not proven that he can beat a top-tier guy in his career. That's no knock against A.B. I'm an A.B. fan, but facts are facts at the end of the day. His best victory of his career is Paulie Malignaggi. And probably from round four to round eight against Chino Maidana. That's the best that Adrian Broner has done in his career. Now, Keith Thurman is definitely a top tier guy. Um, he should be in everybody's top three in terms of welterweights. Uh, before the injury started, a lot of people felt like Keith Thurman was the best welterweight in the world. And the thing that's funny is when you think of Adrian Broner, you would think, okay, well, there's no way he's going to beat a Keith Thurman. But if the Keith Thurman that fought Jose Cito Lopez shows up in the ring with Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner got a shot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Adrian Broner would definitely have a shot if that same Keith Thurman showed up um, against Jose Cito Lopez. Now, the interesting thing about this rumor is, let's just say, for instance, this fight comes to fruition. I mean, Adrian Proner just did 400000 with with Manny Pacquiao on pay-per-view. Where do you put this fight? Like, do you just put it on regular Showtime? Like, I think those names are too big for just regular Showtime. Do you put it on Fox? You could put it on Fox, but, I mean, you would have to censor Adrian Broner like crazy. Like, I mean, he he don't know what to say out of his mouth. And Fox is Fox. Like, you know, the stuff you can get away with on Showtime and HBO and all that, you can't get away with that on Fox. And I'm pretty sure Al Heyman ain't trying to mess up the contract, trying to mess up the bag. So I don't know if you put Adrian Broner on Fox. He might be too, you know, he might be too rated R for, for Fox. But at the same time, neither one of these guys are really hot right now in terms of, like, fighting, like, being on a hot streak or people really checking for them. So I don't really – I see it doing maybe 200000 maybe as far as pay-per-views, but it's not enough to pay everybody. So I, 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 I don't know about this one. I, I don't know. I think – I think it's a good fight. I just uh, I think it's a bad time though. I think it's a bad time for this fight. Adrian Broner doesn't need this fight right now because it does. You can almost book it. This is, this would be a fifth loss in his career. And Keith One Time Thurman, he's not gonna get any credit for Adrian Broner victory. It'll just be entertainment on that particular night. The fight goes down. It'll just be entertainment. You know, however it goes. I think Adrian Broner needs to go in a different direction. I think Adrian Broner needs to take a fight that he can actually win. You know, a guy that's a B minus C level guy, and he needs to at least get one victory 
uh, prior to him getting mentioned again with any Keith Thurman's, Danny Garcia's, Earl Spence's, things of that nature. But the thing that's crazy, Adrian Broner was supposed to win that fight against Jesse Vargas. That wasn't supposed to be no draw. That wasn't supposed to be a highly competitive fight. Like, Adrian Broner was supposed to win that fight. That was a setup fight for Adrian Broner, and he just couldn't pull it out. So... I don't know who Adrian Broner should fight next, but it should be a B minus C level guy. Give him the best opportunity to get a victory. Now, of course, with Chino Maidana coming back, everybody like, oh, well, you know, uh, Adrian Broner, Chino Maidana rematch. Man, ain't nobody trying to see that shit. Nobody trying to see that shit. Like, um, Chino Maidana, he, he looked every bit about 275, 280 right now. Like, I mean, he... He looked like the Pillsbury Doughboy right now. Like, it's, it's serious with Chino Maidana. And then, you know, how, who knows how long Chino Maidana going to take to get back into some type of form for him to even consider a Adrian Broner rematch. And then again, with that fight, where do you put that? You put it on regular Showtime? Fox? Where do you put it? You understand what I'm saying? So, um, I don't know what's next for Adrian Broner. And then Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman just needs to take another fight. He needs to take another fight. He needs to fight more than once a year. He's not good enough to fight once a year and just come back and just look spectacular. He's not Floyd. He might talk like Floyd and try to market like Floyd, but he's not Floyd. Only Floyd can get away with that shit. So it's a good matchup. It's just the wrong time for it. Um, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video. Support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.